the worst part about all of this is that it's uh, it's harder now than any time in, in history to get uh, research grants for spinal cord injury uh, research and stem cell research. Uh, and the problem is it's getting worse, uh, but we can change all that. Uh, Chris Bell has been a longtime advocate uh, for government funding for stem cell research. And he's a longtime friend of the spinal cord injury community. Stem cell research needs to be one of the main battles of a revolution to stop putting politics before doing the right thing. And it would be a revolution to stop talking about banning stem cell research and start funding it. And when I'm governor, I will support embryonic stem cell research. Coverage of, <clears throat> coverage of the national debate over President Bush's wrongheaded veto of the stem cell research bill has portrayed the differing sides as science versus morality. I couldn't disagree more. I, did, I agree that stem cell research is a moral issue, but I think the fight is between morals and politics. When Jesus healed the lepers, he didn't consult the Pharisees and he didn't call a pollster. I believe God gives us the gifts of science and technology to help our fellow man. And we need to be willing to open those gifts. Stem cell research is more than just an idea to me, it's personal. In 1999, I lost my mom after she fought a 10 year battle with Parkinson's disease. And last year, Allison had to fight a successful yet grueling battle with breast cancer. After watching my, the people that I've loved the most in my life have to fight those battles, there's absolutely nothing I wouldn't do to keep other families from having to go through the same. What kind of son and husband would I be if I didn't demand progress in a research that could spare other families what mine went through? Pioneers settled Texas and Texans pioneered space. We can't let cynical partisanship limit our capacity to innovate when we need to pioneer research into curing disease. Those who hold stem cell research hostage to politics are making a political virtue of ignorance and the cost is prolonged suffering and higher medical bills. What would Jesus do? He would not let political objections stand in the way of healing the sick. Stem cell research isn't just a good idea. It's a moral imperative. Thank you all very much for being here today. Thank you. And I'm such a proud, proud sister. But I had dreams. I had dreams of when we were growing up, we're only 20 months apart that we would have kids and our kids would play together and we'd be playing football. I grew up a tomboy, played with my brother all the time. And I wanna be able to do that again. And I know I will. And I know that stem cell research is, is the answer. You know, just this morning, I was listening to the radio before I came and it's John Lennon's birthday. And I was listening to one of his songs and there was a quote that said, they say I am a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And that's what I feel like is going on here. And now it's not a dream. It's becoming more of a reality because of stem cell research. And so what I want to see happen, I want a call to action to you guys out there. When you go to the polls, I want you to keep in mind candidates that support all forms of stem cell research. And I want you to get involved, whether it's through Step Now or other organizations. Get involved and think of people like Ben and Scott and those that you know that may have cancer or Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, diabetes. All these things can be helped by stem cell research. The final key component to uh, a cure for paralysis is, is the research. And unfortunately, because of some last minute issues, uh, the, the representative from the research community isn't able to be here. So what I'm going to do instead is talk a little bit about some of the great research that's happening here in the great state of Texas. In fact, just down the road at the Baylor School of Medicine. Dr. D Dr. Stephen Davies in his lab uh, recently produced some, some work in the, uh, the Journal of Biology that uh, someday going to uh, help us uh, walk again. And what was he able to do? Well, he was able to help uh, injured rats walk again. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Man, I, I've, I've heard that on the news a lot lately. Uh, it, seems, it seems every other week there's a story about that. Well, this case is a little bit different. What he was able to do is take a, an embryonic stem cell, coerce it into uh, some, some nerve fibers that, uh, that are preventing you know, my, my legs from moving right now. He was able to put it into the uh, rat's spinal cord and uh, have them walk again. Uh, this uh, 
from from injury to walking again, it took only two weeks, um, which is which is astounding. But uh, the, the problem with this story is it has a sad ending, and the reason that is is that uh, Dr. Davies, because of lack of funding here in the state of Texas, it has to move his lab to Colorado. So I'm just wondering how many other scientists are out there that uh, are forced to leave this state because uh, we can't provide them with the money to, to continue this groundbreaking research. And so that, that's the reason why today the global community of STEP now uh, is pledging $2,500 to Dr. Stephen Davies and his lab so he can continue his work. So in closing, uh, I'd like to say that when I was injured, uh, and I'm sure when a lot of other people were injured uh, and were afflicted with paralysis, they were told to accept the new life, accept the new life in a wheelchair, uh, accept not being able to uh, change a light bulb, accept not being able to stand behind this podium so you can see my face, um, accept not being able to dance at my wedding, accept not being able to stand up and cheer for the Longhorns at a game. Um, but I know that today, on the eve of the second anniversary of Christopher Reeves' death, uh, we are closer than ever to finding a cure for paralysis, and with the right politicians, advocates, and researchers, uh, we will find a cure someday. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.